Nice. This is exactly what I want. How did I do it? Let's check it out. Hi everyone. It's me, uh, Danny again. Today I'm gonna show you another uh, one of our greatest features for Rubes roster. Rubes digital roster. One of the uh, biggest features you got is the replication of the profile we recorded previously. So, what I have to do, because we got automatic uh, function, so what I have to do is pull the pins in and let me recall that profile, which is this one. And uh, I have to make sure the profile presented on the screen is the one I want to go ahead. So what's next? All I have to do is one button, one click. So that's it actually. What should I do now? Actually, let me show you. Show you a few things. The turning point time and the degree. And I know this road is gonna take seven minutes and fifty-six seconds. And it will just charge at two hundred sixty point four. I know my first crash, according to the profile, happened at around two hundred and one degree. And the time was around six minutes and forty-five seconds. So now it's only just over three minutes. I'm still waiting. As you can see, the dotted line is the one, is the uh, targeting profile. Following in the solar line, is what it does now. So the solar line is basically attached exactly on the dotted line. So that means the lubrication is very high. So imagine you've got this kind of uh, feature, this kind of roster. Uh, uh, you can spend a lot of time on other stuff. You can be hands on on other stuff. So to me, it's good, it's nice. I think we nearly first crack. So turning, turning the fully automatic mode, basically from charging, fixing, powering the curve, uh, replicate the profile, discharge, cooling, stirring, things out to your uh, your play here. I'm just one, one, one button. So I'm, I just have to um, keep waiting. Whoa, I didn't do anything. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so this one runs exactly um, seven minutes fifty-five. So only one second, one second short. But the temperature exactly is the same, 216.4 degrees, this chart. I can smell it. Okay, nice. This is my style, I like my style. So once it's discharged from the drum, it goes uh, to the next step, which uh, will run automatically for uh, cooling. You can hear now, um, because uh, 
previously my uh, preheat temperature set at 160. So now the roaster is very intelligent that it uh, you knows I'm probably going to do my next roll at the same uh, preheat temperature. So uh, you are now cooling the cooling the drum to uh, 160 degrees. But as you can see, the air for exhaust percentage is 140. And let's just wait to automatically drop down the beam for the raising. Because I set this uh, cooling period for 100 seconds to go down in any time. Oh! Yeah, come on! Come on, come on! Yes, exactly the same. Okay, now it goes off. You like it? I like it very much. So convenient. So I guess I see you next time. See ya.